I kind of like almost overwhelmed with emotion. This is just like the most amazing boat. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a bit lost for words, actually. Wow, it's big. That's yeah. a nutcase amount of space, babe. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. Can't believe this is gonna be our boat. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. We are just gonna dive straight back in, picking up where we left off last week's episode. This is Ruby Rose 2, we have already done a tour of the external kind of features of the hull so now we are going to jump inside the hull and take a look around enjoy this episode this is ruby rose 2 this is our new boat and for the next four to five months we are going to be showing you every aspect of the build of this boat she is beautiful she is huge and to finally after two years of planning this boat with sea wind be out to actually stand next to her, go and see her. Yeah, like mind blown. So hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get on board and have a really good look at Ruby Rose 2. Is it big? Very <laughs> <laughs> ragged. Wow. That is big. Jeez, that's huge. All right. So basically we've got all the structure in now. Okay, so you've got this kind of like so, so this is a grid that uh, the saloon and cockpit will bond to. Yep. So that basically forms like, as you can see, like a big, um, almost like a big honeycomb network. Like it, yep. it, it really, it connects the wing deck and the cockpit floor and the saloon floor to, to form a big I-beam structure um, through this area. So it's gonna make it very stiff. Um, mainly that just gives you a lot of support in the cockpit so you're not bouncing around, it really will. Yeah. You can feel it now, there is still a little bit of bounce, not a lot, but, but when you get that cockpit bonded to that, yeah. um, it will really lock that in. I can't believe how high side it is, this is like a crazy amount of space. Yeah, I know. Like, it's nuts. There's nothing I can't stand on there. If I just you can, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. No, no, you can walk on all that stuff. So this is the uh, structural grid that's below the floor which incorporates the engine bed you've got there. So the engine will be just in front of where you are. So you yep. will be able to stand there and then the, the engine in front, the sail drive through the cutout there. And also what you don't see because it's covered up there, but actually you've got a nice flat floor in the engine bay. So okay. this, this surface that you covered up here, it's covered with the felt there. That's going to be a nice flat surface. So you'll be able to walk around the engine bay, you know, not have to put your feet on the corner of the bilges nice. and things like that, but have a nice uh, flat floor access. Furniture bulkhead, We'll see there's a little groove there. Yep. Yes, yep. Yep, we'll lock into there. Um, so they, now you're standing in the bathroom. So the floor, the floor is gonna be here, right? Yep, that's the floor. But right. I mean, look at the side. Yes. <laughs> well, stand, stand on that, on that floor, and you'll see that's basically, yep. <laughs> that's a nutcase amount of space, babe. Before we continue, let's just remind ourselves of what the finished boat is going to look like. Nick is currently standing in the port hull, which will be our master hull. The engine bay will be located behind the shower cubicle, accessed from both inside and the port transom. So, main bulkhead. Main bulkhead. All carbon fiber. All carbon fiber. So you'll have a compression post uh, that'll go in in here. Uh, then the furnitures will, will be uh, installed on the forward side of this bulkhead. You've got your uh, mast locker uh, in here, so some bulkheads that'll tie into this, but the uh, main bulkhead, yeah, this is taking, it's taking all your loads. It's unidirectional carbon along the deck that yep. ties into this, so it makes a big I-beam. You can actually see the bottom part of that here. Yep. So you can see there's a bunch of extra uh, stiffeners along the, the hull there. And then where we've got uh, stringers through here, you've got bridge bridges to okay. keep the fibers continuous. Without wishing to mention the French Catarant designer that seems to have yeah. a lot of problems with their 450s. Yeah, um, that's all, all glued all, and glassed. All super glassed, yeah. yeah. Okay, amazing. Look at the space down here. It's not, it is mad. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty flabbergasted. Just, I know that it will all get filled out, but it's just nuts. And then obviously you've got this whole area here, but like everything black is in carbon fibre tree. So. Yeah. So you've got like huge amount of carbon fiber here. So Nick, where are you standing right now? Let's, let's orientate you. This, is, this will be the saloon. I imagine that the saloon windows will start here and go up and I think they're at a different rate to the 1260. So Shane, is, when Nick's standing, obviously there'll be a floor that is on top of that, but yep. like 
I imagine it won't, it won't be much higher up than you actually... No, are. probably, yeah, probably an inch okay. higher than this. So this, is, this will be me sat with my craft Correct. ale. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this will be me uh, navigating. <laughs> and uh, I guess that the helms are outboard. But helms are outboard, so the galley will be around here. Yep. And the helm will be just, just after this, so the helm will be Fine. about here. So the trifold door is over this, is it around here? Uh, in line with that gutter. This gutter yes. here? Yes, yeah. So this is the trifold door. So again, just for perspective, there's probably, I would say, what, three meters, nine, 10 foot. And then, yeah, there's been a lot, and then this will be the galley. And then there's a lot of outdoor area. And then back seating here. Yeah, the back seating here with all the, the transom area. Yeah, that's all pretty amazing, Shane. Like, I, yeah. I'm a bit dumb, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lost for words actually. I know that we're doing this for camera, but yeah, I'm a bit lost for words. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. Hmm. All right, do you want to go and see your bedroom, my love? Yes. Or I think it's called a cabin in boating, but nonetheless. <laughs> this is a stairwell? This is a stairwell yep. here. Okay, so this is the doorway. So Mick's standing in the shower cubicle. Yep. Right at this very moment in time. <laughs> <laughs> we're having storage here. So your wardrobe here yeah. and up to this bulkhead you'll have your table yeah. um, which will but basically about this little knuckle on the bulkhead here. Yeah. Yep okay. so that will be around the height of the table okay. there yeah. and it'll come so out to around that position. Will be here, yes right? yeah. So I'm, I'm standing lower than I hope you can hear me by the way because uh, I don't have the normal anyway. So we've got like a vanity desk work desk type situation here not sure what we'll use that for yet probably just a work desk vanity <laughs> putting his face on every morning <laughs> and then this oh my god this is the cabin wait where are we gonna be where is our bed up here yeah oh my god you i think you'll see in randy's on in, yeah. in hole one it's pretty apparent okay all right well we're, hole number one is next episode guys so stay tuned so this is Going to be where our bed is, and yep. then we're going to have a little bit of storage underneath. And then next, uh, next wall and wardrobe is right here, right? And there's a is there a sail locker f uh, forward of that, Shane? Yes. Yeah. 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 So probably about that point is the the, the divide between the sail locker forward yep. and uh, and the walk-in wardrobe. That's mad. Yeah. Like it just makes it's it makes yeah okay, okay. Would well, you want to go? In? Yeah, let's go. Do you want to clamber over there and then oh, shin down into there? I don't know if I can get up there. Of course you can. Give me a push. Hey. That's wow. Ooh. So wait, where am I standing right now? So you're standing just on the inboard edge of the cabin, of the master okay. cabin. So now you're standing in the locker. So you've got a locker space okay. through the middle here. Yeah. All right. And then obviously the anchor chain is in there. Yeah. And um, so this chain, the chain lock is here. So the chain lock will be about about there. Yeah. Just to keep the weight central. Yeah. And the anchor will be stored in in that little that recess, recess there. Locker. Yeah. And this is a locker where I am. That's a locker. Now. Yeah. Okay. Big locker. Very very big lockers. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this is the other cabin. Yep. And yep. this is orientated. The bed is yes, the bed is four aft in yeah. this cabin. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be your workroom then. Workshop. Have you Shane, have you finalized the design for the workshop or is it still like to be determined? Yes. yes. Okay, so is it the one that's got the seat that pulled out that yep. yeah, okay. So workshop, there's another locker forward of this, right? Yep. So workshop will be here. Through this bulkhead, that's the um, heads, right? Yeah, so the, you have the passageway to inboard and there'll be a heads outboard. Okay. So single door. Uh, single door in the middle. Yep. Um, the toilet will be forward and then forward of that is the washing machine on the wall. Yep. And aft is the shower. Just a good bit, it is a washer dryer, isn't it? It is a washer dryer. Yeah, okay. So this yep. is Essentially, storage space and a crash bulkhead, or just a crash bulkhead. What are you What are you assigning this? Crash as? bulkhead. Just a crash bulkhead. Yeah. During the engine bay, and the bed probably the bed would overlap slightly, so the bed probably comes to just forward of uh, where you're standing. 
amazing. So this is literally, this is where the sail drive will go down this hole. So the engine's there. They're reverse mounted, aren't they? Yeah. So the reverse mounted engines. So the engine will go back. This is where the engine beds will be. So, yeah. So you've got access from the deck directly over the top of the engine. And then you've also got access through the back of the uh, aft cabin. One question that someone did ask, and I didn't know the answer to is, are the uh, is the engine access from the outside, are they still reverse opening? No, they're not. No, they're not. No, because okay. the geometry of the, of the hatch had to open sideways. Okay, sideways opening, okay, fine. So moving forward, so and yeah, this will be the, the aft cabin on starboard. I think there's, as Shane said, there's an overlap, so the bed will finish there. We are having the cabinetry that's built in under the, under the bed for storage, so we'll keep stuff in there. Then moving forward, Ooh. the heads is going to be yep. from about here to there, so yep. about six foot. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty sizable. Opening hatch. That the one's the opening. One, yeah, so the square ones are opening. So you get one there, one, one here. There. Fine. Nice, nice. Very nice. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Can't believe this is going to be our boat. Are you going on? I'm only allowed to use a little camera because I'm incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think everyone knows that I'm using the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We are so excited about this. I cannot even tell you. It has felt very surreal up until now and suddenly it is real and we are pumped. Next week, we are going to be taking you just like literally five meters that way and showing you hull number one. Now, hull number one is about a month, six weeks ahead of ours in terms of like the build process. So it's going to be really interesting to go and take a look around that boat to see, you know, kind of the differences and, and see the next stage of what our build is going to be. So we're excited about that. I hope you guys are as well. But for now, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you very soon with whole one and now 20 seconds for a shameless plug do you want behind the scenes content do you want early access with no ads are you interested in interviews and content that you're not going to find anywhere else as well as three watts app groups for you to participate in and then finally meetups live events and crewing opportunities join us on patreon